metropolis like Hong Kong, one of the most intimidating things to me is traffic. I can't even imagine driving in this, let alone doing something like parallel park. Well, that is if you have a normal car. At the Chinese University of Hong Kong, this team is unveiling what could be the car of the future. Unlike traditional cars that can only move forward and back, this machine has no boundaries. Dr. Tin Lun Lam is the creator, and today he's handing the key over to me. Dr. Lam. Hi, Song. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, I've been hearing a lot about this car. It looks very cool. Tell me about it. This is omnidirectional hybrid electric vehicles. Omnidirectional, so does that mean it can turn or move in any direction? Yes. As Dr. Lam explains, the secret to this car's agility is in the wheels. Each wheel has two separate motors, one built right into the rim for driving, the other inside this silver box for steering. As for power, Okay, so I recognize this. This is a gasoline engine? Yes. How big is this? 200 cc. 200 cc. And is this providing the power for the individual wheels? Not directly. It provides electric power to the battery, and then battery provides power to all of the motors. Here is the control interface to control the wheels. So, okay, it looks like a pretty normal steering wheel. If I want to drive the car sideways, do I just crank the wheel? No. There is a button to tell the computer, and computer will tell all the wheels what ah. they should do. It's all computer controlled then? Yes. So I don't even have to think if I want to spin this car in a 360. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can handle that. Can I actually take this thing for a spin now? Sure. All right. Finally, it's time to take this beauty off the shelf. And it's time for me to take the wheel. Driving this car kind of feels like playing an arcade game. After all, the steering wheel is actually a video game controller. The buttons on the wheel have been programmed to make all four tires move in a specific way. One button turns them sideways for lateral driving. Another turns them on 45 degree angles for zero radius turning. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Dr. Lamb and his team have already started work on a production model with improved safety, better robotics, and greater efficiency. One day, he'd like to see every car on the road built with this kind of maneuverability. This is very weird. But in case the advantages of a car like this aren't already obvious, it's time to put it, along with my new driving skills, to the ultimate test. The Hong Kong Parallel Park. Now, there's no more room for error. It's showtime. Dr. Lamb, how do I do? How was it? That was perfect, man. I'll take one. 